Hiya Tom, lovely to meet up with you the other day and do some further work on your game. Things are coming along nicely now. Um, just a quick recap on the key points that we covered. Really it was all about controlling the direction the arms swing during the transition from down the line and controlling the amount that we turn through the golf ball uh, when viewed from face on. So if we look at it from face on first, start of the session, a lot of emphasis on turning through the golf ball. Now, whilst we do want the hips to continuously rotate during the downswing, they don't necessarily need to be running the show. So what we're looking at is we're looking at hips that should be sliding, extending and rotating at a steady rate. Let's use a unit of five as an example. It's an irrelevant unit, but just so we can visualize it. So from once we've transitioned, we want the hips to slide at five turn at five and extend at five and what I'm seeing here is a player who is turning at five uh, sorry sliding at five and extending at five but he's turning at about 15 there's way too much emphasis on the turning aspect of the hips so what we've done here is we've just tried to calm down the rate of rotation so we've just said rotate through it less and really everything started to balance out much more coming into the golf ball the hips are still turning but it's a much quieter move and if we compare the two positions when the shaft's parallel with the ground we can see the effects of this. We're able to hit out at the golf ball for longer. We've still got the left shoulder visible. The orientation of the hips is different. So whilst they have still turned, they've not turned excessively. And the right heel is banking inwards and staying down rather than popping up and flailing outwards like we see in the top footage so some nice changes there just by calming down the rate at which we turn through the golf ball when we viewed it from down the line because we were turning through it excessively the butt of the club was being pulled out too much in the transition so when we transition during the golf swing what we want to have is a nice balance between downward and outward too much outward will be pulls and cuts too much downward will be pushes hooks and overdraws and what we're seeing here is someone who transitions a little bit too much outward so the shaft hits the right shoulder and the left arm isn't really angled in a great deal midway down at P5. Then the shaft gets very steep in between the forearms, almost on the left forearm at P5.5, before getting out in front of the hands at 6. If you notice what the right heel's doing now, the right heel, the left knee and the hip are flexing forward a lot. The right heel is being popped up in the air. And then as we come through impact now, there's going to be a raising of the butt of the club and a tucking of the hips in an attempt to stop the club coming across the ball too fast. When we do that, we get a lot of face rotation. You mentioned that when you made the change that I'm going to show you at the bottom, there was less wrapping over of the club face through impact. And that's very apparent on these two pieces of footage. So quite a lot of face closure and a right heel that's popped up in the air. Shoulders quite open, certainly opening up quick through the hip with quite a low exit. So what we're doing here is we're trying to really focus on the downward move of the butt of the club. And it's just a balancing act really. As we focus on working the butt of the club down more from P4 to P5, what we see is the arms are not pulled out as much so the arms are in more at P5 
the shaft of the club is perfectly through the middle of the right bicep. And then as we continue these two swings on, I'll just match these two up for now. So we've got arms in more at P5. Shaft shallowing out much better at P5.5. The uncocking of the wrists is at a much more gradual rate. Club more inside the hands at P6. There's less rotation therefore the hips and the right knee are not flexing forward as fast. So the right knee is not over flexing. The right hip is not working towards the ball quite as fast. The sweet spot is staying inside the target line for longer. And there's a dramatic decrease, certainly through the hip, on the club face rotation. Much tidier through the golf ball. Exit very similar as the rotation kicks in. Completely different finish, much less releasing of the hands, uh, wrapping over of the hands, and much better leg work coming through the ball and into impact. But the key for you here, Tom, is to work that transition, getting the butt of the club working down more than out. So the feeling from four to five is the butt of the club working down. And I'm just going to get this. I'll play it back. I think I've got you doing your drill just before this shot. The feeling is from four to five, butt of the club works down. Four to five point five, really. And you can see when you do that, the shaft is much lower. The arms are in more. Now, if we get to the stage where we start pushing it too much, overdrawing the golf ball, we may need to work the butt of the club out. But it's a nice way of, of sort of controlling your ball flight, something that you can relate to when you're at a golf course, uh, as opposed to all the sort of, you know, the mechanical needs to achieve that position. Uh, if we can just feel the butt of the club working down a little bit more, everything lines up at five. Six is much better as well, as is seven. And then after that, there's a little bit of residual stuff that's still in there, but overall, a much better looking finish that we can tidy up as the weeks progress. Uh, I'll confirm the date to you over the next day or so. I think you were requesting the 12th of March, there or thereabouts. Uh, I'll text that across to you. Well done, good luck, and I look forward to working with you again in the coming weeks.